Hours after Ryan Gosling received an Oscar nomination for playing Ken in the blockbuster movie Barbie, he released a statement that, quote, says, there is no Ken without Barbie and there is no Barbie movie without Greta Gerwig and Margot <coughs> Robbie, the two people most responsible for this history-making, globally celebrated film. Uh, no recognition would be possible for anyone on the film without their talent, grit, and their genius. To say that I'm disappointed that they are not nominated in their respective categories would be an understatement. Uh, do a lot of people feel that way? Yes. <laughs> good, good for Ryan. This is allyship. He's Canadian. Come... He's so nice. Oh, but <laughs> allyship is showing up. This, Barbie grossed over a billion dollars. Like, hello, studios. Maybe hire more female directors if you want to produce blockbusters. We're half the population. We turn out. We want to see these. And it's just like. Also, did they miss the whole moral of the story of Barbie? Yeah. Like, of course, we celebrate just Ken, not the woman who's the lead in it and the icon in it. But actually, I'm stealing this from Brian. Um, I think this could give Greta an idea for a sequel. sequel. Barbie goes to Hollywood and then is snubbed by the elites who choose Ken over her. So just throwing that out there for an idea. <laughs> well, you know what? I th the message of all that is not lost on me. But one question I, I have, and maybe we'll be the only one that can answer this, is when does it become a snub? And by that, I mean, I know the film. I know the greatness and the money. But that assumes that someone else shouldn't be in there because you have five people. Everyone below the five is a snub of sorts. Yeah. So in this kind of thing, how do you look at five great directors, I'm assuming, because I haven't seen each of those other five movies, and say one of them should be plucked out for this? You know what I mean? Well, like, there's always going to be the snub right. category of greats because some years are stronger than others. They rarely, rarely give a nod to comedies on that level. And Oscars, I mean, uh, Whoopi won a supporting actress in Ghosts, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, in 19... <laughs> yeah. Pointed out to me this morning that the supporting actors in comedies get get the nomination and the the awards, but not the leads. That's and not very, true because not Cher, that Cher got uh, uh, her well, Oscar yeah, but that for was a long That was a long nineteen. Well, so was, I'm a nineteen yeah. something too. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, but we're, the, we're but all the, the wild. movie does not. The movie, the last time the but I understand mm. Annie Hall won nineteen seventy seven, mm. and Shakespeare in Love in nineteen ninety eight. Those are two comedies. Mm -hmm. Most comedies and Woody Allen. Has made brilliant comedies that don't win. And it's a, it can, it can be a deal. No, everybody doesn't not, win. Yeah. Everybody doesn't yes. win. Some people don't get. Listen. I, <laughs> <laughs> you know about the snubs. Well, I, well, but they're not snubs, and that's what I want to sort of point out. And it's not the elites. It's the entire family of the Academy Awards who vote for Best Picture yeah. nominations. Okay, we all vote for Best Picture. Everybody. So there are seven to ten nominations that happen. And you don't get everything that you want to get. You know, uh, everywhere, all the time, everything yeah. that... Yeah. All at once. All at once. Uh, one best actress. <laughs> Something in yeah. there. But not the whole movie. Yeah. I so would have liked happens. to have seen Origin, you know, and, 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 and that was, in my view, a snub. So, you know, but there not are no everybody snubs. gets it's a prize. Just, it, it, that, and that's what you have to keep in mind. Yeah. Not everybody gets a prize. And it is subjective. Movies are subjective. The movies you love may not be loved by the people who are voting. I see. I see that you want me to stop. Uh, yeah. They just oscar you up. I know. Every time they ask me a question, and then they want me to talk really fast. <laughs> Then they get mad when I'm not talking fast enough.